All right, so a couple days ago, I asked you guys to give me questions on my community tab to answer for the Q&A, and here we are. So I'm not even going to do an intro or anything like that because there's a lot of questions to get to. I may not even get to all of them because there's almost 90 here. So real quick, the footage that you're seeing right now is from a sim that we did on Twitch where we took braided Steph and gave him a different roster. We have Andre Drummond on the team, Mitchell Robinson, um, Reggie Bullock. We did get to the finals, but but it didn't go so well because Draymond Green got hurt. But that's besides the point, that sim is over now, but I'll probably be doing more sims in the future. So if you guys wanna see that, or if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to follow the Twitch on the screen right now. So let's get to these questions. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know if I wanna just like speed run this sh but let's go. Where do you rank Clay in the all-time shooters list? Either second or third, next. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing really to say there. Do you play video games? What's your favorite video game right now? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Apex on stream, especially. Um, Valorant, I play more off stream, but occasionally stream it, but you know. It's more fun, like Valorant for me is more fun with friends. Like Valorant for me, I don't really play solo all that much. Apex, I play solo a lot, so. Do you work a job and are you hoping to become a full-time YouTuber? That is definitely the hope. I do not work like a nine to five type of job right now. Like YouTube is my only income right now, but it is working out, so. What's your favorite food? Also, if you had one last meal remaining, an appetizer, an entree, a drink, and a dessert, what would it be? Okay, so. Appetizer, I might go either mozzarella sticks or either mozzarella sticks or nachos. An entree, I have absolutely no idea. It would either be a burger or a pizza. So between those, I can't even decide. A drink would probably be a Sprite, either a Sprite or just a water. And then a dessert would have to be cheesecake. There you go. <laughs> What's your favorite part about running a YouTube channel? Just seeing, I don't know, like it's all happened so fast that you can't even really like describe it, you know? Because the thing with YouTube is that you always have to be looking at the now and then the future. You never really look back at the past. But like looking back and seeing, you know, what we've been able to do in such a short amount of time, I feel like that's like the best part for me. And just like being here you know, giving you guys content because a lot of you guys say that you're, or that I'm your favorite YouTuber. So I appreciate that a lot. Are you in college? What are your favorite foods and what do you like to do in your free time? Well, this, the last two things I've already answered, favorite foods are burgers and pizza. And then I like to game in my free time. Are you in college? I was when I started YouTube, but not currently. How deep will the Warriors go in the playoffs? Will they even make it? If they even make the playoffs, then they're probably gonna get first rounded. <laughs> so there's that. I don't even wanna talk about that right now. <sighs> Have you ever been to Europe or even out of the States for that matter? So. Rafa, how you doing, by the way? You've been here a while. So, I have been to Europe, but not like on vacation. It was just for a layover. We went to London, or we were on a layover in London a couple times. But uh, I have been out of the States for uh, family because they live in South Africa. So I've gone four different times. We went in 2009, 2013, 2015, and 2017. And that was the last time we went or the last time I went, she, like, my mom has gone back a handful of times since then, but yeah, I have been out of the States. <laughs> the life story. How long have you been a Warrior fan? I've been a Warrior fan since, I'm not sure. In terms of, like, watching Golden State, I would say since 2013. But in terms of, like, a Warrior fan, it would be more along the lines of 2014. Like, 2014 going into 2015 is where I, like, became, like, a dedicated fan. So, no, I'm not a bandwagon for anybody that was wondering but what inspired you to do YouTube uh, so a while ago I was actually part of a group uh, of people that we shall not name nor should we ever bring them up ever again so they were all doing uh, Call of Duty like on YouTube and stuff so they saw that I was like super active on Twitter and like talking about basketball all the time they saw my tweets were kind of doing well and so they kind of gave me the idea but then I you know went out and of course made it possible that's like the story of how I got inspired to do YouTube like I had been thinking about it but that was like the one thing that kind of pushed me to actually start doing 
doing it. How did you come up with Double D worth? So Double D, it's not an Ed, Ed, and Eddie joke. So I mean, I, I get those all the time, but. So Double D is my initials, DD. And then the worth is the last part of my last name. So that's where it comes from. <laughs> like, that's really all it is. When did you start watching NBA basketball? I started watching the NBA 2007, I want to say. Like, I don't even know how this even happened, but I think... I started like playing basketball before I even started watching it. So I was like shooting around with my dad when I was like super little and then I was playing like NBA Live and all those games and then I started like really paying attention to actual basketball. <laughs> Rose asks, why do you think Cars 2 is an all-time movie classic? This is an inside joke. It's from a podcast that I recently did with him, by the way, I'll, I'll put that clip here and then I'll link the podcast in the description. Cars 1 or 2? Cars 1? That's the only right answer. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. I don't know about that either. Uh, okay. This one's more interesting. What? No, we're not going to get into that. Okay. Right. <laughs> would you rather take a charge in front of Giannis or would you shoot the last shot in a Game 7 Finals? How's quarantine life been like? It's been interesting um well i i i've built a youtube channel with 20,000 subscribers in the span of quarantine life so that's pretty cool but in terms of like life outside of youtube it's just it's just been kind of you know eh obviously with everything going on but you know we're we're almost through we're almost through how tall are you in real life i'm six foot in real life what editor do you use? I assume you mean what editing software I use. I use DaVinci Resolve, and I know that I'm gonna get questions like, what the f is that? But it's actually a pretty good uh, software. Like, I've actually gotten people to switch from Premiere to Resolve after like showing them about it, or after showing them and like telling them about it. So it's pretty good, uh, but yeah, I get questions about that all the time. So DaVinci Resolve. Favorite rapper Kyle Lowry, you are asking a lot, so. <laughs> So, favorite rapper would probably be Futuristic, and that's an answer that I've had for the last five years or so. You guys should definitely check him out. Are you good at basketball? Um, I used to be decent. Um, I haven't been playing that much recently, but I imagine that I could still be decent since I was mainly a shooter, but I guess we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Can you dunk? I unfortunately cannot dunk. I'm sorry to shatter your dreams but your boy can't dunk. Will NBA 2K ever be enjoyable again? Um, if they get any sort of competition, then yeah. But as of right now, uh, they have no competition, so they have no reason to make the game as good as it can be. So, uh, no. Because I feel like some of the best 2Ks that they've made were during times where they were kind of starting to overtake NBA Live in the video game industry or video game market. So, um, yeah. I think that they would need some sort of competition for 2K to be enjoyable again. Make 2K great again. Start the hashtag. Is Stephen Curry the greatest golf player ever? Um, I don't know what compelled you to ask this question, but there's already, you know, a pretty good golfer who's been golfing for a while now. He's, you know, one of the the all-time greats in the, the sport, has a great swing, and his name, of course, is Charles Barkley, so I don't want to disrespect him. Um, where do you live and why did you start supporting the Warriors? So this is actually a story that uh, needs to kind of be straightened up because I live in Southern California, and obviously Southern California is Laker City, Clipper City, whatever you want to call it mainly laker city yeah so southern california and obviously the warriors are from the bay so what happened was because i was never really a laker fan per se i was always a kobe fan but never really a laker fan if that makes sense so when he got injured in 2013 when he tore his achilles i started watching the warriors a lot more because i had seen what steph curry was doing that season a couple times like i obviously heard about the the 54 points of the garden because that happened the same season and then in the game kobe got injured steph dropped 47 so that's kind of what put me onto steph curry and then their style of play was just so fun to watch that that's just how it happened why did you make this channel because 
I started off doing videos about topics that I had seen on Twitter. And they were topics that like were starting legitimate arguments like in the media. Like this was back when uh, the media was questioning Draymond Green or not really the media but NBA fans were questioning Draymond Green this was back when the media started up the James Harden versus Steph Curry conversation and so I made a video about that so it was mainly just about trying to educate people on these arguments while also you know giving uh the reasoning for why I felt the way that I did because obviously on Twitter you don't have enough <laughs> space for that unless you do a thread and people don't really scroll through threads like that but yeah I feel like that was one of the big reasons is because I wanted my takes to be known and so that's uh like one of the reasons that I decided to start doing videos so those are all the questions that I wanted to touch on most of it is just like like most of the other questions are just like questions about Golden State which I didn't really want to answer in a video like this like so thanks to everybody that sent in questions like I really appreciated that so we have a lot of <laughs> things to talk about but I feel like you guys now know a little bit more about me there wasn't really that many personal questions but yeah because somebody said like we don't really know much about you so where are we supposed to ask well that was I guess like the point of this video like you can ask anything you want but yeah so that was the 20k q and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I know that it's not like the most polished video or anything but but then again it's a Q&A so what are you really supposed to do but hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new hit the bell to be notified when I upload comment down below what you want to see next and as always I'll see you guys in the next one